Hi Fausta. Hi Andres. And today is our debriefing meeting about yeah. Standard 1, the lesson for Standard 1. Yes. So, um, we about did that. learner development. That's correct, about yeah. learner development. And there were quite a few goals and targets that we had to hit for this lesson. And it was quite intense and it was our first video, but I think it went really well. I think it went quite well. Um, when I looked back at it a couple of times, you know, like I was yeah. like, gosh, I look very serious, <laughs> you know, in it. But it's also because I, I think I'm a bit worried, you know, like about how kids are going to respond or how they're going to behave. Yeah, because I think they responded very well and I yeah. think they also enjoyed the activity. They did. Right? I, I, think it was, I think it was great. I think when it came to like the student development, we also need to remember that like, these kids like first language is not English no. so we needed to make sure that like we give them something with um, that is ex that, it, that is suitable for their age and for their um, language skill level and like their age level and all of yeah, that. Yeah I'm very happy you focus a lot on, on sounds mm -hmm. because anyway you you know that Chinese mm -hmm. language is completely different yes. from English or from my my language Italian yeah they don't have this sounds like. right 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 like the, yeah the, there's lots of like inter and intra language you know like differences you know like, that we need to take into consideration and we that we need to make accommodations for so and that's why I chose like rhyming because like rhyming is a good way for them you know to make a distinction you know like between words you know like that there's lots of words that sound the same, they have the same ending sounds, but they don't have the same ending sound necessarily. But they don't have the same meaning necessarily. But it's also important for uh, like uh, phonological, phonological awareness. awareness. Absolutely. This is very important. Very important. Because it helps them with like their speech, you know, like and like the communication skills and like yeah. So like I mean that was my main goal with it. So like I'm glad that they re responded to it so well, you know, so to go on to the benchmarks that they wanted for us to um, hit. So like the first one was, um, um, <clears throat> let's see, instruction that is challenging and achievable to meet the cognitive. So let's talk about the cognitive part. So like, I mean, like I try to keep it as visual as possible. Yes. And as, you know, like, so like I have like the smart monitor and like I did provide them with, you know, like the song, you know, like and, like the touching, the touch activities on the screen. The you know, matching like, cards. Right, and the, uh, and the rhyming cards that they need to match up. So and I think the rhyming cards also like helps them, you know, like, to build like those social connections and mm. to work together, you know, like as a group. Because like I did go around and I would see, you know, some of them were just like sitting with the cards, you know, like, and I was like, no, 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 you have no, to. they didn't fight and uh, they, they didn't fight, yeah, yeah they, they, they actually. I uh, saw them also <laughs> discuss them. Um, Right, right, uh, right. Now about uh, uh, this one the goes, word they yeah. have it too much, no? Right, right, right. So like, that was really, you know, like I was really happy to see that. Mm -hmm. And like I said earlier, there was like one or two with like sitting with the cards. I wasn't sure, but like when I showed them, they were like, "Oh, okay, this is what we yeah. need to do." And um, so like I think they worked quite well together, and I'm really happy to see that like. Like I said, um, that they didn't fight, but I also think it's also because like I gave them very such clear instructions, you know, like on my expectations, yeah. you know, like for how they're going to do that activity. So I'm really happy with the result of that, and um, yeah, and I think that is definitely something that I would do more often. I will. I like to. Yeah. I like these activities to do them more often, and I try and do them as often as I can. But we're we're usually short for time, you know, like we have to get so many things done but um, also the attention span right, show right, right, was right. quite longer because anyway we had to make video shorter right, right, right. <laughs> uh, but actually uh, it, mm. the lesson lasted a long time right. and what it was interesting I saw them really focused mm. on the activity they were so the attention span was really amazing and it obviously was in their interest you know like yeah. it was something that like they enjoyed doing so that like, i'm really happy with that you know like they i think it gave them enough rigor and i think they were challenged enough you know like and i think that it actually forced them to use like the 21st century skills like critical thinking being creative you know like um so yeah let's move on to yeah. the next one linguistic okay i mean I think it's a challenge, like I said, I think it can be challenging for any person whose second language is, is English to make that distinction but between writing sounds. especially for Chinese people. Yeah. Well, this is, we have it to mm. uh, say mm. very clear, mm -hmm. but Chinese language it's is so dynamically so different. Right? Different, yeah. really different. Yeah, and they did really well. They did really, really well with matching it. And then, um, 
I'm, I'm surprised because like, they, they communicate quite well. I think their, their listening skills are quite strong. That's also another thing that I, I've noticed, you know, like, and I do know, and I did see that, like, you know, some of our kids who needed some attention, like Elsa and Jerome, you know, like in Kimi, you know, like we did try and challenge them. Yeah, I know? like that you gave the opportunity to these children uh, mm -hmm. to try. Mm -hmm. And if uh, uh, I saw uh, Elsa mm -hmm. and have some difficulties, mm -hmm. but it was good that you give a chance to her. No? I agree to uh, try yes and she was also i saw her also smiling yeah so she was also pleased you know very pleased i think she takes a lot of pride in like yeah. getting that opportunity to try something and the same with jerome because i chose him as well because he, he never rose never raised his hand you know no. like to say anything but when i pulled him to the front and he did it. He was really happy when he went back to his yeah. to his table, to his chair. So and Jerome was is a very interesting boy because mm. uh, you don't expect, you know, because he doesn't talk so much. No, he doesn't. He's very shy. Very. Uh, he always stay in his shell. You know? Yeah. And then when you ask him something, he knows. He everything. knows everything. <laughs> And it's a challenge, you know, to get him to communicate yeah. more. And I, I work a lot. I work quite hard with him to like express mm. himself more, because a lot of times he will just like sit there, you know. And then, and you know, and I think like at the beginning, it's easy to forget about it because he's so quiet, yeah. you know. <laughs> so and like, but there was a couple of times where I got him involved yeah. because it's important. I, I observe this, sure, and you know? call him several times. Yeah, so yeah, that's good. Yeah. So <clears throat> let's go on to the emotional and the physical. So I mean. Emotional needs, I do understand, like for instance Elsa, she is also a highly emotional mm -hmm. girl. So like I need to be very careful um, with um, giving her something that could be too challenging because like I think it could demotivate her a lot. So like, and I think that's not just the case with her, but like with a, with a, with a bunch of kids. So like I think it's very important to like make sure that like when I go around and like when I do speak to them, that like I'm not trying to intimidate and get answers out of them, but like encourage them to think for themselves. And I think that's a very important thing. You know, yeah, but that. I saw the children very comfortable mm. and also confident. Yeah, so yeah. What do they know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I agree. I think the majority of my class, I think they, I think they know that like there's room for error, you know, like they know that like it's okay, you don't always have to get everything right. And I think that's important for kids to know because otherwise, Fear is a, is a huge deterrent to like, you know, trying new things, you know, so and I don't want them to fear being in my classroom. I want them to try things, you know, like organically, you know, like an out of their own, you know, like um, willingness, you know, and I also want them to have autonomy over their own work, you know, like and how they think about the work. So I think that's very important for me. Independence yes. at a young age. Um, and then for I physical agree. needs, I think, I mean, um, I did do some dancing, I did a oh, lot of yeah. TP hour, you know, like... I um, really enjoy to see you <laughs> dancing and uh, shaking. <laughs> yeah, I mean... And the children as well. Yeah, but you you know, um, I think you have more experience as, than me with this, because like you know how important movement is oh, for yes, kids definitely. learning, you know, Especially like, to this age. Yeah, because like there's lots of connections that they make, you know, like when learning and when they were moving and learning together, right? But yeah, also, uh, the children also learn uh, not just to move with the yeah. body, but they can communicate with them. Exactly, body, right? exactly, exactly. <laughs> so, I mean, um, a lot of them are shy to dance, but like I did, I did see, you know, like a lot of them do enjoy yeah, dancing. Yeah, they but really enjoy, yeah. They do. Um, and then um, with the TPR that I did, like teacher says, you know, like, you know, they yeah. love that. And um, they really enjoy stuff like that. They thoroughly enjoy that because it's also a great you know listening exercise for them you know like because they need to pay attention to yeah but I also saying. notice when mm -hmm. you say teachers say mm -hmm. and then once you didn't say yeah. teachers say but just a few kids yeah yeah st uh, stood up yeah but I think because it was extinct yeah 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 yeah, yeah, <laughs> but yeah. most of them they right need. right I mean they're so small you know yeah. like we need to acknowledge so that this. means they pay attention. yeah absolutely mm -hmm. so I mean <clears throat> I think it I'm happy with how it went. I just like think I need to loosen up a little bit more, you know, because I think I was a, when I looked at the video, I thought like, wow, you're very serious. <laughs> you know? No, I think uh, you did a great job last day. I enjoyed the activity and from my observation, uh, I think you really know, have a, a fully knowledge about mm -hmm. what they are, the goal, the needs. Yeah. 
of every child, not just the class, mm. no, but every single child. Yeah, it's important for me because like no one learns at the same pace and no one learns the same also way. Also because they have a different personality, yeah. background. Right, you know? right. So, and I mean, you only get to learn these things over time, you know, like, and and kids present like, you know, like these um, challenges in a very different way, you know, than adults do. We will tell people, I'm not great with writing, but kids don't have that, you know, yeah. like, you know, they're very like withdrawn when it comes to stuff like that. So, it, it, like I said, it comes with time, but like, they're a good bunch, you know, like, although about a lot of them are sick and at home, I just like hope that, that we, when we have our full class back, you know, like yeah. we can carry on with like some wonderful lessons, but, um, and also another thing uh, um, it was interesting is uh, the children are aware mm. about the rules and norms to follow in the class, you know? Absolutely. And I saw also some kind of enjoyment <laughs> yeah. in saying this, you know, yeah. rules. I think it's very important to set, you know, like to make the expectations very clear yes. from the beginning. Because like then, you know, like they and I remind them a lot, you know, like to focus, you know, because they are young, you know, like and they do need lots of reminding, you know, to pay attention and to listen. So like, so I do a lot of like TPR and like attention grabbers, you know, and stuff no, like that. No, it's important they know because it's also uh, the management of the classroom, mm -hmm. you know, will be smooth. Right? Yeah, absolutely. And it takes time. Classroom management doesn't happen in a week. It takes yes, a long I time know, you know, I know, I know that. to get them to follow. <laughs> All of those things and remember all those rules because they remember all of them but they don't necessarily always follow them you know yeah. like, but it's our job to but make they sure try. they try they try their try. best they try their best absolutely any any negative feedback first anything no not negative i okay. just uh, uh, saw you maybe because you were a little, a little bit right. anxious i right. saw you struggling a little bit with oh yes <laughs> Yes, with um, there was a, the the worksheet that I couldn't get up on the smart yes. board. Yes, I know, I know. So I, maybe you can organize before. I know I should have done that, and you know there were so many things, and I was so maybe I was maybe a little bit distracted, you know, like but. Um, but I think we were both nervous. I know. Anyway, I know. It was our first, you no? Know, right, it was our first video. Yeah. Video, so, so. So there was some. So it went, but like it wasn't a disaster. I mean, like I tried no, to keep them busy. No, 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 no. So, Absolutely not. But it was. I think uh, the activity went very well. Thank you, Fausto. I appreciate it. Um, anything else? I'm um, really look forward to for to see the second one. Me too. I'm actually. I feel like I'm gonna get into it more now. Yeah. Okay. So, thank you so much for your time and for having this meeting, guys, and whoever's listening, Catherine. Yeah. Thank you so much. Um, we'll see you in our next video. Bye. Okay. Good job. <laughs> Bye. Bye. <laughs>